Dear friends, welcome to Bond with Arctic Chemistry YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to explain the previous year questions which have appeared in University of Hyderabad Easy Entrance Examination from the lesson of electrochemistry in the year of 2040 and 2050. These are year-wise questions which have appeared in SVP's Entrance Examination from electrochemistry. Given the cell of cell potential shown below, the standard cell potential of the cell with spontaneous electrochemical reaction is. For constructing cell with spontaneous electrochemical reaction, the half cell which has a more positive potential value should act as cathode. So this one is cathode, this one has more positive potential value and this one should act as anode. So when you construct uh, this type of cell, the reaction, the cell reaction will be spontaneous. We know the E cell. E cell is the difference of uh, off cell potential of cathode. Cathode, that is the reduction potential of cathode minus reduction potential of anode. Here, uh, both the reduction potentials are given. This one is 0 0.85, 0 0.85 minus, uh, minus of 0 0.76. So, it will be equal to 0 0.85 minus of minus, it will be plus 0 0.76. So, finally, we will get uh, around 1.61 or this is the cell potential value. So the correct option is B. Given lambda m naught SCL is equal to 420, lambda m naught NACL is equal to 126, so lambda m naught sodium estrate is equal to 91, Simon centimeter square mole inverse. The equivalent conductance uh, Simon centimeter square equivalent at the at infinity dilution of acetic acid is at infinity dilution according to Kohlraff's law. The molar conductance of an electrolyte is the sum of the molar conductance of its ions, and the um, infinity or the naught of its H plus, and the m naught of L minus. Okay, this is uh, according to Kohlraff's law. Suppose if we take say, for second one, and the m naught, m is here. So this is the sum of lambda m naught and here plus lambda m naught cl minus. Let's take uh, lambda m naught sodium acetate and here AC is equal to lambda m naught and here plus and lambda m naught AC minus. Suppose if you take uh, this equation 1, 2, and 3, if you add 1 plus 3 and uh, subtract 2, on right side, we have to add 1 and 3, okay, it will be H plus Cl minus Na plus AC minus. When you subtract second equation, there is a cancellation of Na plus Na plus and uh, Cl minus Cl minus, so you will get uh, lambda m naught of H plus and lambda m naught of AC minus. So according to Kohlraff's law, it will be equal to lambda m naught of acetic acid. So the conductance of acetic acid is the sum of one and three and the subtraction of two. So First equation is molar conductance is 420 plus third equation is 91 minus 126. So if you do the calculation, you will get 385 Simon centimeter square mole inverse. For uh, estric acid, the number of equivalents and the number of moles, the equivalent weight is equal to 
uh, molecular weight or uh, molar mass. So, in uh, equivalence also you will get same value 385 Simon centimeter square and equivalent inverse. So, the correct option is 385. The ionic strength of the solution that is 0 0.1 mole per kg in NaCl and 0 0.2 mole per kg in CaCl2. Assuming complete dissociation is there. Okay, let's take NaCl. There is a complete dissociation of NaCl into Na plus and Cl minus. The concentration is given. The salt concentration is 0 0.1 mole kg uh, 1 mole kg inverse. So, the Na plus concentration will be 0 0.1 and this one also 0 0.1. Let's take second salt, CaCl2, second electrolyte, that is Ca2 plus and 2Cl minus. Okay, the concentration of CaCl2 is given 0 0.2, when there is a dissociation, that Ca2 plus will be 0 0.2, it will be 2 into 0 0.2, that is 0 0.4. And ionic strength, the equation for ionic strength is equal to 1 by 2 sigma m i z i square. m is the concentration of a particular species, ionic species, and z is the, the charge or valence of the particular species. Okay, let's take uh, all the chemical species, all the ions which are present in the solution. The first ion is 0 0.1. The M value is 0 0.1 and the Z value is 1, so it's 1 square plus the second one also 0 0.1 and minus 1 square and the third one 0 0.2 and the charge is a plus 2, so it's a 2 square and the fourth one is a 0 0.4 and Zi square is minus 1 square. So, after simplification, you will get I is equal to, after simplification, I is equal to 0 0.1 plus, this one also 0 0.1 plus, 2 into 2, 4, 4 into 2, 8, so it is 0 0.8 plus 0 0.4. So, divided by 2, divided by 2. So, final after simplification, you will get 0.1 plus 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.2 plus 0 0.8, 1.0, 1 1.0, 1 1.5, 1 1.4 by 2. It will be equal to 0 0.70 moles per kg. Which of the following is true for an electrolytic cell? If you take electrochemical cells, these are classified into electrochemical cells, are classified, nasally classified into electrolytic cells, electrolytic cells uh, and the galvanic cells, galvanic cells. Electrolytic cells, they convert uh, electrical energy into chemical energy. Electrical energy is converted into chemical energy. Here, a non-spontaneous process will be taking place when you supply electrical energy. Here, chemical energy is converted into electrical energy. A spontaneous electrochemical reaction produces electricity. So, if you take electrolytic cell, an electric current is produced by electro a chemical reaction. Actually, galvanic cells they produce uh, electric current. So, this one is not correct. A non-spontaneous reaction is forced to occur. In, when you supply electrical energy to a non-spontaneous reaction, the reaction will be taking place. The electrical energy will be converted into chemical energy in electrolytic cell. This one is correct. Electrons flow towards the amide. Generally, in electrolytic cell, actually, the flow of electrons takes place from anode to cathode. And uh, the flow of current takes place from cathode to anode. This is the direction of flowing of electrons in electrolytic cell. Electrons flow through the salt bridge. In electrolytic cell, there is no salt bridge. In galvanic cell, we have a salt bridge, but in electrolytic cell, there is no salt bridge. So, the correct option is D. 
In case of weak electrolytes, the conductance at infinite dilution can be estimated using. In previous uh, example, let's take this one. Okay, in this example, we have calculated uh, the at infinite dilution, we have calculated a molar conductance or equivalent conductance of for weak electrolytes that is acetic acid by using a Kohlrass law. So by using Kohlrass law, by using a Kohlrass law of independent migration at infinite dilution, we can easily calculate uh, uh, the conductance of uh, weak electrolytes at infinite dilution. So A is the correct option. Daniel cell, the Daniel cell, it's a reversible electrochemical cell. Daniel cell is a galvanic cell. In Daniel cell, we have a anode and a cathode. Zinc is anode. This one is converted into Zn2 plus, and the cathode is a copper, and the Cu2 plus is converted into Cu. It's a reversible electrochemical cell. Okay. The spontaneous reaction here, there is a spontaneous reaction which uh, releases uh, which converts uh, chemical energy into electrical energy at the same time when you supply electrical energy then the electrical energy will be converted into chemical energy so in general uh, there uh, there is a reversible uh, it's a reversible electrochemical cell so remaining uh, irreversible electrochemical cell it's not correct reversible electrolytic cell not it's not an electrolytic cell it's a Galvanic cell. It's a galvanic cell. Irreversible electrolytic cell. It's not a electrolytic cell. So this one is wrong. This one is wrong. This one is wrong. Daniel cell is a reversible electrochemical cell. This one is the correct option. Okay, in coming video, I will explain uh, uh, the previous year questions from electrochemistry from the era for 2010 to 2013. Thank you.